When the ball's in midfield and your wide player is looking to get onto it, it's important that the attacker, when that ball's being played out wide, doesn't stand still. The winger, looking to get a control on the ball and a touch out of their feet, wants to deliver the ball into the box. But as the attacker, you need to make sure that you don't position yourself on the side of the defender closest to the ball. And that is because it gives the upper hand to the defender. So today, we look at why movement is so important. Being in front of the defender allows that defending player to see your movement, to have a good idea of what you're going to do, and at the same time, they can also see the flight and the path of the ball. This allows the defender to control the situation. It keeps them goal side, and it allows them to put pressure behind that attacker, forcing them away from goal into an area which the defender is very comfortable with. So you as the attacker need to do something different and you need to position yourself on the side of the defender furthest from the ball when it's about to be crossed. This is because the defender looks at the ball, they can't see you at the same time, which makes the defender have doubt in the mind about your movement. So if they do look back to you, they then can't see the flight of the ball or what type of cross is going to be made. And this will give them difficulties. At some point, they're gonna to have to look away from you toward the ball. And at that point, when that happens, you can get a yard's head start and make a quick near post run. There's a good chance you'll be a step ahead of the defender as they won't have seen you make that initial burst. That initial burst of pace doesn't necessarily need to be to the near post. It can also be to a far post position. You're making that far post run around the back side of the defender to get onto any crosses that come into the box. And this is what is called a blindside run, where the defender cannot see you while they're looking at the ball. And this movement is effective for all attackers, no matter what their physical stature or their speed is. It gets them in a better position to go out and be effective. Now for any striker, for any attacking player, it's always difficult when there's a defender behind putting pressure on and forcing you away from goal. The constant physical challenges can be tiring and at some points demoralising. You want to get on the ball and you want to show people what you can do, but there's someone there putting you under pressure. And you can use the blind side to get out of these situations even when you're in central areas of the pitch. You can avoid this pressure because you don't always need to be in a physical battle with the defensive player. Many centre-backs want to give you as little time and space as possible. They want to get touch tight and try to slow you down, preventing off the ball movement by maybe grabbing onto you and pulling you back. Being physical can prevent the attacker from stealing a head start on them or a yard space, so they want to get tight and close. And this is where you use the blind side in central areas of the pitch. And it's again about positioning yourself on the side of the defender that's furthest from the ball. The defender's going to be in a position that makes them uncomfortable. Do they press the ball or do they go to you? If you give yourself about two to three yards space from the defender, it gives you that room to receive the ball, a through ball, into your feet. If the defender holds that central ground, you then have two or three yards space on the ball and you may potentially be able to run through on goal. But if the defender were to move touch tight and try and get physical and close with you, then that gives the attacking player a second option. And that second option is movement into the space where the defender originally was positioned, which gives you a chance to then maybe run through on goal and go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Defenders want to have control and you as the attacker need to make sure that you put them in a difficult situation. They want to see and feel where that attacking player is. And any top attacker will understand the importance of making the defender's job uncomfortable. They want to look at the ball and they want to see you at the same time. If they can hold you in front of them, then they're happy. But if you move into a position where you see their number or you get onto the side of them on their blind side, they're gonna have a much more difficult time getting you under control. 
You don't have to get drawn into the physical battles unless you need to hold up the ball, unless you need to be that focal point for the team to keep possession in the higher part of the pitch. Otherwise, you want to get the defender out of their comfort zone. And you do that by making them look for you. If they look for you, they're potentially looking away from the ball. And movement then separates the best attackers from the rest out there. So focus on getting on the blind side and work on your positioning to really up your game.